On the basis of my work on technological revolutions, what I said to the audience in this presentation was that I expect that the future will be digital and green and that we can expect or we could construct a golden age just ahead of us. And I did this because studying all the technological revolutions I have discovered that they are all half about finance and investing in the new things and the second half is more of a golden age where you take the new technologies and transform the whole economy and actually spread the benefits to the whole of society. Now, the previous one, which was mass production, was originally, I mean, in the 1930s, it didn't look like you could have such a golden age after the war. But after the war, the state came back and organized the future in terms of suburbanization, the Cold War, and post-war reconstruction in Europe. And that gave uh, the possibility of having an incredible boom where even the workers were able to have suburban houses with a car at the door and with uh, electrical appliances and a good life, a good salary and all the rest. This happened in the whole of the West. Now, I believe, and history allows me to say that, that we could now take the environmental problem, not as a problem, but as a solution, and direct all investment towards green and therefore towards reducing the amount of materials and energy in lifestyles so we could have a luxury life that's all about experience, about imagination, about communication, about exercise, health, caring, many other things. And that would create enough employment, especially if we also make uh, tangible goods durable so they can last 50 years or 70 years, I mean, we have the technologies to do that, then we would have both maintenance and rental, and everybody, including the Chinese and the Indians, could have a good life. Because it would be impossible to have the American way of life across the board, not if, we, if all the Chinese and all the Indians wanted the American way of life. We need seven planets when we only have one. So we have an opportunity which very few people are taking, and there is a bad understanding of the role of the state because people understand that if the state acts, it's to regulate, it's to control, it's to plan. No, the role of the state is to change the context so that free markets can be profitable. And that means that we have to, markets can't change the context, markets react to the context. So what you have to do is change the tax system, change the whole a uh, regulatory system, but not to control, but actually to open opportunities in the direction of green and with a very active role of the state, but with a consensus about what has to be done. And I believe that with that, if we could do it globally, we could have a global golden age that's equivalent to what was the golden age in the advanced countries after the Second World War.